Mark the first CCSD Board of Trustee meeting since the injunction. The ongoing contract battle was not on the agenda, and in contrast to the last two meetings, there was no large-scale protest to bring the proceedings to a halt. Fox 5's Mike Allen spoke to people who did attend and has more on what was and was not discussed. Mike? Yeah, John, they did not discuss this contract dispute, but before the meeting, in sharp contrast to the last couple, like you mentioned, not many people, a pretty sparse turnout. In fact, before the meeting, there were more news crews out here than people who showed up for the meeting. But I did talk with a couple of folks who planned to speak at the public comment period. I stand with teachers. Kylie Kent is a CCSD parent who came to Thursday's Board of Trustees meeting to send one message pay the teachers what they're asking for. We cannot expect teachers to give up their life for us and for our children. We have to be willing to meet them halfway. Kent was one of only a few people who came to the meeting, a sharp contrast to the last two, which wound up being disrupted by angry teachers. The most notable absence was the teachers union, the executive director of which told Fox 5 the union's current efforts are going instead toward gaining support of parents in certain board members' districts. We have gone to voters in their district, told them what this issue is, asked for their support and asked if they would sign postcards. A teacher at a local charter school, not in CCSD, thinks teachers' demands for a 10 percent raise this year are reasonable. 10 percent is well within the boundaries of what the district currently has. We also have the money that came from the state that was obviously said by the governor and obviously his representatives to make sure that money went to the teachers, absolutely. In addition to canvassing and waiting for their appeal of Wednesday's injunction against them, union members are also wondering what happens while this injunction remains in effect. Teachers are asking that question. What does that mean? I mean, if I'm sick now, I can't call out without having some hammer over my head. CCEA is in particular trying to get support in two specific school board districts. Reporting live tonight from Clark County School District headquarters, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. After Wednesday's injunction, the school district told Fox 5 teachers will continue under their current contract and did not mention what would happen to teachers who did call out sick in the future.